we were, we lived down at uh, Corvallis and my dad wanted to come up here and uh, work in the shipyards for getting World War One, and things were booming and he thought this would be the place to be so he came up here and my very first impression of Portland was the, the, arc, the arches across Third Street. We, we got off the train and then uh, we walked up there to Third Street and I saw those arches and I thought there was, it was heaven. I never saw anything so rich and, and pretty in my whole life. The heaven four-year-old Frank Springer had discovered was still a 19th century town when he and his family stepped from the train at Portland Union Station in 1916. But Portland was changing. Growing with the new century into a new place. Frank Springer would grow and change with his new town. He would marry a high school sweetheart, raise a family, and find a place in the community. In 1938, Frank Springer joined the Portland Police Bureau. As a patrolman, he would face the mostly routine, the sometimes comical, and, on occasion, the tragic challenges of police work. Frank would see his town through a global war. He would also see it through the return of peace. And he would see it through new tragedies. In a new time of reform, Frank Springer would step forward and lead the shutdown of entrenched criminal activity that had eroded public confidence in his town and even earned it a national reputation as Sin City. I'm Dave Mazza, creator of Frankstown, a multimedia project that explores a unique piece of mid-20th century Portland history as seen through the eyes of a unique individual. Using articles, audio and video podcasts, and a full-length documentary, we'll explore the life and times of Frank Springer. Frank began his career as a police officer in the late 1930s, and three decades later retired as Chief Inspector of the Bureau. Along the way, he played an important part in many critical points in Portland's history. Frank's town will not only tell that story, but give you an opportunity to meet a truly remarkable person. I think you'll enjoy Frankstown, and I hope that you'll support this project. As you can see on this page, we have many levels of support and many ways of showing our gratitude for that support. So I hope you'll join us in Frankstown. You'll enjoy the trip. You'll enjoy the story, and I hope that you'll support this project. Thank you very much.